Hello, it's Nick, and today I want to talk about the user experience of the GPT store. OpenAI recently released a long-awaited store for the GPTs. Now, ChatGPT Plus subscribers can access a collection of GPTs created by different users. I want to review the downsides of the current version of the store. Let's start with the GPT's homepage. When we navigate to the Explore GPT section, we will see a page that invites us to discover GPTs for our needs. We see a search bar and some categories like the top picks, DALI 3, writing, productivity. Next comes a section with four featured GPTs and specific GPTs for the categories listed above. The first problem that we face is category selection. It's unclear why DALI 3, writing, productivity, research and analysis are selected as the top level categories. The naming of the categories is a bit confusing too. The category DALI 3 is basically the image generation but it has the name of the tool rather than the action that the user wants to perform using it. If you look closely at the actual GPTs, you will notice another problem. You will need to read the text to understand what the GPT does for you. Apart from the GPT icons, OpenAI doesn't offer any visuals. And icons are not always self-explanatory. And reading text is not the most enjoyable experience. It will require a lot of brain power right from the start. Okay, if we have a particular goal on our mind that we want to accomplish, for example, we want to find a finance advisor for ourselves. We will face another problem. Once you start typing your query, you will see that OpenAI offers recommendations based on keywords you provided rather than analyzing your intention. What I mean by that is when I say finance advisor, I want to see a list of finance apps. Tech support advisor or Joey Allen Matthews results look irrelevant to my goal. Apart from the GPT name, OpenAI doesn't provide any information on what the GPT provided in the list is doing. So, I assume I need to spend some time to figure out what the app does. At least for me, it usually leads to a lot of time invested in testing various GPTs before I find the one that I need. There is another problem. It's hard to figure out what other users think about the app. Take a look at the Apple App Store for Yahoo Finance. Apart from the visuals that communicate the purpose of the app, you see the rating and you can read not only about the app itself but also what actual users think about it and identify both the positive and negative sides of the product. OpenAI doesn't offer that. There is no way to rely on other people's opinion when evaluating the GPT. Let's try the first GPT from the list of suggestions. I assume it's one that OpenAI thinks is the most relevant to my goal and see how it will help me solve the problem. Suppose I have $1,000 that I want to invest in stock and I wonder if I should buy Tesla stock in 2024. Finance GPT provided a relatively long response, but it didn't answer my question. That's forced the GPT to give a precise answer, yes or no. The GPT failed to do it. It's true that finance advising is a tricky thing and there is a legal risk for the tool to say you should or shouldn't invest in something. But still, my goal is to get a finance advice, not a general response about how to invest money. I've tried many custom GPTs and want to say that most of them work not really well. Many GPTs feel like half-baked apps that were created back in November 2023 when OpenAI announced custom GPTs. So I think that OpenAI should review current GPTs and remove all mediocre apps from the store. Let's go back to the home screen with GPTs and I want to mention the last problem that I found. ChatGPT doesn't show the logo of specific GPT in a history. So all results look the same to me, both the results from the native ChatGPT and custom GPTs. As you can see here, Finance GPT has its own logo, but the result it doesn't feature it. The last thing that I want to talk about is app discoverability. Marketing is an essential part of mobile stores like App Store and Google Play, and both marketplaces offer a way to promote your mobile app. But right now, I don't see any marketing tools in the GPT store. Consider that many people will try to create their own GPT in the coming weeks. Without an efficient marketing tool baked into the store, there is simply no way to promote your product. So, even if you have a very useful GPT, you won't be able to acquire many users. This is the end of my review. I know that GPT store is only making its first steps on the market. And I truly believe that OpenAI team will do the best to make it perfect.